Just look at that Lumion's face. Is that not the prettiest Lumion ever? Like, Santa Marsh could, could easily, easily be Instagram famous. Like, look, look at that face, look at that face. Brrr. Right, we're gonna go over Santa Mars. But we're not going over Santa Mars in the normal way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over a brawny robust set on Santa Mars. So we're gonna kind of mimic the range defense set and kind of flip it into a uh, robust set. Um, we're gonna do it slightly different though. But there's a couple of ways we can, we can do this. Oh, by the way, guys, I am Warm Connell, Seb. Whoop, whoop. Um, If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back as always, guys. I really appreciate the support. If you're new to the channel, please do hit the sub, hit the like, and we'll get straight into Santa Mars here. So, everybody, um, this is Santa Mars. Look at that guy. Look at him. Look at him. Absolutely look at him. Look how pretty he is. Look at that face. Look, look. could be Instagram famous easy. Right, anyway. Um, we're going to wear a brony robust, very clumsy. So, People would usually use Santa Mars as a ranged wall, okay? If you come to encounter a Santa Mars now, you expect it to be the ranged wall that it is, okay? Um, we're going to do a slightly different. So, we're going to run that. We have, um, obviously, full melee defense. So, we're going to beef that up straight away. So, if you look at Santa Mars' actual base stats anyway, it's, it's melee defense is its second highest stat. Not only that, it's health. It's health is absolutely huge with base 107. Base 107 health. What that means is actually Santa Mars is what? Seventh. He ranks number seventh for health in the game alongside Municon for HP. Wow. So what we're going to do is going to beef them out. Um, energy, we're putting 60 in there. Basically, it lets us do essentially three rage and tackles and a and a sharpen um yes i said rage and tackle um and then obviously the rest is went in the attack um so if we look here there is an argument to obviously to put rejuvenate in here just obviously to heal us up the question is what do you drop um you kind of need a sharpen if you can um to make sure you do enough damage um, Hasty is obviously the ability. The only thing I will say to you is I've only used this once. With Hasty, it lowers your accuracy. Like Thunder Chomp is 95% accuracy, so it was already a coin toss. Um, it makes it even more of a coin toss. And the, the funny thing is, using it, this was kind of the move I kind of needed. Um, Raging Tackle is really important because not many people are expecting it right now. Um, could you drop something for Rejuvenate? Yeah, Earthquake still has its reasons um thunder chomp you know people will be swapping in water types left right and center on you so you kind of want to hit them uh, as best as you can um and that's where it comes in without obviously having that recoil damage there is an argument in terms of item to use health amulet here there is an argument basically to potentially go to like some an energy orb um i've just went to heavy armor i'm just gonna basically use it to take hits the difficulty that Santa Mars has currently is the update was basically a, a, the last update rather was more of a, a water basically a water themed update um so with all the fish coming into it um so it's typing isn't great that said you, you don't get many more than one or two in a team and thunder chomp does give you a bit of coverage um raging tackle is something we want to see how we can get on with um so let's see how we get on with it um it's something that i've tried once um as i said it's something that isn't really commonly expected because people are obviously going to expect the likes of your your range set of ours normally so let's see if we can pick up a battle um we'll obviously swap it about so they don't know one using so let me see if we can get a battle here Okay, um, I think all of these people are asking me to go and... Okay, so we've got a battle. Happy days, let's go. So, Amon Chopra. Okay, let's go, let's go. Um, He's got a set of Mars on his team. Okay, I'm going to bring mine basically to try and... Well, I don't really want to take a hit from Hunter because he'll probably chilly jump me. Um, But we can, we can use him to pivot around. Um, the range one would be better for probably this team. Um... Let's see how we just get on anyway. Um, hopefully that's melee, and then at least we can have a bit of fun. There is obviously 
the idea you could use chia stone against these guys um his team is pretty fast i'm not gonna lie um Pretty sure that would be pretty decent. We're, we're going pretty meta here, but let's go. Let's see how we get on. Okay, he leads Faraglyph. He could have Boulder Blast or he could have... Um, he could have Boulder Blast or he could have... Earthquake on this. Um, I'm gonna poison him either way. He goes for a peace of mind. Okay, so he's ranged. Ranged Satomars is looking pretty good right now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Flowergast is definitely coming my way here. He's got plus one on his mind type. Um, this is not good. This is not good for me. Um, but I kind of need somebody to take a hit for me. Try and put Hunter in and force him out. Here's our Flabbergast, yep. Not very effective. Okay, so we're going to take a hit. Poison's going to use... Break him down now. Um, Mega Chomp is the go-to. He's got it to Clips in his team, so what we'll do is we'll hit Thunder Chomp here. If he stays in a boulder blast, he's brave. Goes into clips, as expected. Okay, we'll thunder chomp. As we do. Um, I'm going to go for another thunder chomp, expecting him to scapegoat. After. No, we went for the gloom roar. Okay, so he's just obviously trying to threaten Hunter out. Um, I could take Hunter out, but I'm just swapping in the mid clips to try and get plus one. You could potentially do a double. I think we'll just... Do you know what? Set up with the clips. Go ahead. If you don't mind, that would be really nice. Beautiful. I'll take that all day long. And we're not going to hang about here. We're just going to rage and howl. So we've got us to clips down. Um, I'm plus one right now. Look, I'm pretty, 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 pretty. Yep, yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. That's what I meant to say. We're looking good. Ooh, let's go, let's go. What you got for me? Pretty sure we just kind of like clean up now. Um, we could skip go. Um. I do think I can take one hit at least off him, so we're going to go for a Sneaky Dice Burst. Boulder Blast me. Expecting potentially a scapegoat. Okay. He's in serious difficulties now because Eclipse is just set up. He should just quit. But you see I say that and somehow he flips the battle around now and I'll be like... Aah. Temper. For another peace of mind. Um, I got a raging hole here just to make sure I take him down. Although we do have the poison because he could just. See, here's the thing, right? I scapegoat, my health will go down. Um, don't really use energy. Poison will take him down, but Boulder Blast could chip away at me. Um, actually, Gloomish Roar is probably. I'm in range, I'm in range. Okay, I need to watch my energy here. Need to watch my energy. Okay, Chartiki comes in. I'm just gonna rage and howl, but I don't have enough energy, which is great. Um, you had to watch my energy. Um, guess I scapegoat here. It's probably my best play. Just for a fire breath. Okay, I'll, I'm happy enough to drop his energy down. He swaps out, it gives me a rest. He needs to keep pressing on me here. 
Our life drain. Oosh. Um, right, okay. Now I, um... Go for a rest. I'll let them, I'll let them take to clips down. It's fine. It's for a life drain. And to clips goes down. His energy is way down, though. So, time for my boy. Let's go send him off. Um, pretty... Can't remember his team. Um... Pretty sure we'll just go for a magnify here. Just for a fire breath. Should live one. Um, then we air blade from here. He lets his guard down a rest. Bye bye, Chartiki. So yeah, we're meant to be showcasing Satamars. It's always the way I like, isn't it? He sends in Hunter. Um, Hunter's going to outspeed me here all day long. Um, what I'll do is I'll go into... Actually, let's rotate this round. He's going to chili chomp me, surely. Could thunder chomp me. Oh, let's go to Blotox first. Okay, please chomp. Okay. Maybe he expected me to bring my Hunter in. Sharp edges, put a bit of pressure on him. Um, find a Thunder Chomp now. Now we'll get into our set of Mars to take a hit. What sort of damage does he do to us? Thunder Chomp. Doesn't affect us, right, okay, perfect. So we're now in with set of Mars. Um, we're just going to Earthquake. Mega Chomp. See what sort of damage he does to me. He crits me. And he hits me for 71. And he gets the flinch, more importantly. Chili Chomp. So much you take off me. Wow, he crits me. Wow. He crit me for about 130 there. But again, Sadamar's out of Chili Chomp. A critical hit, Chili Chomp. Um, wow. Um, obviously, here, he should outspeed us. Um, we just hit Earthquake here. If he goes for a cheeky piece of mind. A shriek blast. Okay, so he just takes down Centimars. I can't believe Centimars actually took that hit. Took a big boy hit there. Um, right, okay, let's bring Cinema off in. Okay, um, Snore Spores. Go for a Magnify. And then we'll just get rid of this Infernix. Can't wait for, um, we're expecting the update today, um, or tomorrow. And with the new battle changes, it's going to change a lot of things. A lot of things, so, like, Mutagona, Secret Ability Mutagona is going to be everywhere. It's going to be absolutely frightening, look at my GG. Okay, it's Secret Ability Mutagon is going to be absolutely frightening. Um, like, it's going to... With it having Quick Punch, it's going to be... So it's going to be interesting to see what, what everyone's going to be coming up with. Um, we're going up against Team 6, but that's glitched. Um, oosh. Right, Setamars. Just thinking here, Setamars, what do you actually do for me in this battle? I'll take care of Alaguana, maybe. Um, and you can take a few hits from me. Okay, let's go... Let's lead off with Vesp. Um, bring you in. Under your Daphne, and yeah, to Clips. Let's see how we get away... Get on with this team. Now... He leads with Garbantis. I've got Vesp. Um, I've got my ranged Vesp here at the moment, so I'm assuming he's just going to batter and ram me. So what we'll do is we'll just go to set on Mars. He goes for a burrow. 
Okay, let's go for a sharpen. A bottom ramp. He hit us for what? Best part of 90 there. So he's gonna be, he's plus one on range defense right now. I need to get someone in that not gonna take that much damage. I can do a bit of chip here, but I'm, I'm trying to just get Garbantha's energy down here at the moment. Because if Garbantha sets up on me, I'm in trouble. Um, really sharpen. We're battering Ram again. Melee defense goes down. Okay, you should go for another battering ram and that should take care of us. I need to obviously then bring something in that's gonna pressure him. Please wait another turn. Rage and tackle. Obviously do a bit of damage. Okay, he's plus three in range defense. Um I think I'm dead. <laughs> um, bring Hunter in. Hopefully, we can scare him out. Let's assume he just goes for a clay slap here. Just for a dodge. Okay. Um. What, plus two, plus three right now? Go for a snore spores. Oh, we forced him out. He probably could have sat in on me. Okay, went for a snore spores. On Eliguana. Um, from Magnify here. So, robust brawny Satomars. It's not doing too much right now. Maybe I'm just choosing it completely wrong, but. He ain't looking too hot. Question is, do go for a cheeky third one here? Already, I just hit him. Um, go for. Mm. Yeah, we'll hit him. I'm gonna get the crit. Okay, so we've got plus four up at the moment. He sends Mutagon out. He has Tank on. Um, ooh. Question is, is Airblade enough? Is Airblade likely to be enough? Probably not. Um, but we're plus four. I need to break the fact he has Tank. So what we we'll do is we we'll bring Vesperatu in here. Expecting a mega punch. Okay, frost punch. Okay. Gives him a bit of coverage. Um gonna spectral burst. Okay, range Vesp on the Mutagon that has tank. Wow. Basically down to bare bones, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna airblade. Just because the energy cost is little. So Elguana's down, Mutagon's down, Garbanthus is the pain. Then Starogo out. Um what's Drogo got? Primal slash Slap down. Barbs can rotate. I think we'll just bring the clips in here, expecting a slap down. He might go for a primal. He might just get barbs up. Barbs, okay. Um, I'm happy enough for you using barbs. I'm gonna skip goat right now. Swaps into Garbantus. 
Okay. So we'll go for Rage and Hull. Go for a Batarm Ram. He'll get rid of my scapegoat. Rage and Hull. Gets rid of Garbantus. And that was the threat. As long as I had that scapegoat up, that basically just allowed me to, to take him down. Which was really important. Cedragon comes in. Take Gleam and a Sword. Resilience. Oh no, oh no, his resilience went up. Whatever will I do? Goes for Sharpen. Quickly becoming a Eclipse Showcase here. Quickly come, becoming a Eclipse Showcase. And then that just brings Durogo in. Um, by the way guys, if you haven't on the Discord, the Gamma Sachi and I think it's Thursday or Friday, um, the link's in the description. Um, if you haven't joined my Discord, there's a Verify, um, it takes like 10 minutes or something. Um, do that and then send the Discord giveaways. You need to do like 35 messages, so don't spam or anything like that. And then we we'll just give a GG. Um, so the clip's cleaned up there easy enough. Okay, let's see if we can get another battle here. Um, it looks like we're going to have to do a quick... Go to Trade Resort, see if we can do a bit of a server change. I'm, I'm really excited for the next event that's coming up. Um, as I said, it should be today or tomorrow, um, based on T-Pad's um, comments. Said early this week, so Thursday, Friday don't really count as early week to be honest with you. Um, so it should be today or tomorrow. What we're gonna get, I have no idea. Okay, so here we go. We've got server a bit more full of people. Just anybody with kind of any sort of decent mastery. See if we can pick up a, a battle here. Okay, let's go, Sid. Okay, let's see if we can actually get Sadamars doing what it needs to do here this time. Um, against this team, I think we could actually do that. Got Ragoon, which you don't really see that often. Um, your soul, um, like you can look, at, do a bit of damage to him, him, him. Uh, could do a bit of damage to him and him. So there is a good chance for Shadow Mars to actually work its magic here. Question is, what's he going to lead off with? Um, I probably would assume it's going to be either Vesp or Zulon. Um, so what we'll do is we'll use Blotox here um, for that. Actually, I think Cinemoff, you can sit this one out. Yeah, it looks good enough. Borok as well. I haven't seen Borok in a while. Okay, leads your soul. Okay, so I've got Blue Toxin, which is fine. Um, he is obviously using the b -b -b um, Sharp Claws, your soul. So we'll go for a poison here first. Just for slap down, that's going to remove my water essence. Um, sharp edges do a bit of chip, poison will do a bit of chip. Um, because I'm quicker than him right now, um, I have two options here, right? Really, I can Hydro Slash for a bit of chip and I, I can live it. Um, or what we can do is Rejuvenate. Now, if I Hydro Slash the next move, he'll have a priority move, which will take me down. So Rejuvenate's probably my best option here. If he swaps out, he swaps out. Because the thing is, who's for a Sharpen, okay. His Sharp Edges, or my sharp edges will do a bit of chip plus the poison's gonna do its job um so i'm gonna hydro slash now to put him under pressure um he was for another sharpen um which is just crazy because even if he uses a priority move right now he's probably gonna be a, in a bit of trouble um i guess he could mega punch me um 
Or Shadow Sprint me. I'm just gonna stunt. Then I'm chomping in case he doesn't. Shadow Sprint. Yeah, because it's a priority move, it didn't really have much weight against it. Sharp Edges took him down. Okay. So now we should expect Zulong to come in. And then what we're gonna do is run a double on Yakazuni. Okay, Zulong. Let's double on Yakazuni. Actually, do you know what? Let's bring Setamars in. We could have easily just went in expecting the Thunder Strike. He goes for a Thunder Strike himself. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for Earthquake because if we remember his team, he didn't really have much to deal with an Earthquake. I could go for a Sharp in here right now, but let's just go for an Earthquake. He goes for a Chili Chomp again. Guys, I'm robust, so that's not gonna do too much. Bentley's gone mad here. The wind's really, really heavy over where I am at the moment, and the, the door knocker keeps going. Of course, though, the earthquake misses because of hasty. Because um, obviously, the hasty ability increases your attack, but then the issue is your accuracy goes down. Elemental burst does a huge chunk to me, though, as you can see. Earthquake takes down Zulong. Perfect, okay. Now, this is kind of where people will be screaming at me. Or if they haven't even watched this video, they probably commented already and went, Yeah, why haven't got you rejuvenate on? Well, okay, you're right. Yep. He gets the melee attack increase, which is a pain. Um, just go for the earthquake here. Go for a bit of chip. What's he going to do? He's going to earthquake me. Thing is, though, there was a chance we, we might have been able to last that, but no. We down. Um, what we'll do then is... Bring in. Mm. I'll bring a Vesperatu here. Uh, we're gonna Spectral first. Because we're gonna hit him on the, the range defense side. Earthquake's still gonna do a chunk to me. It's still gonna do a chunk. But we've got too long down. Which is important. We got your soul down, which is important. So we've got him down, down to two spectral burst. Let's see. So what sort of damage range Vesp's going to do? Like three quarters earthquake's going to do a chunk to me. Okay. Question is, is his quick points going to be enough? Well, no, because he can't quick points me. Can he? We can. Why do I think he couldn't? Um, but anyways. He's down. It's not enough either way. Alright. Because I was thinking. For some reason, I just mind blank and think Typeless couldn't hit. It's Brawler. Can't hit. Okay. Um, Cyrenite comes in. Um, again, I've got, I've got ranged um, Vesp at the moment. So I'm going to take a hit. I'm going to go down. It's fine either way. Um, so we'll go for the Spectral Burst. Sierra Knight's usually really chunky on the melee defense side. So we'll hit him for what? Probably about 45%. And then he takes Vesp down, which is fine. Uh, we'll just bring Blue Tox in now. Uh, we'll go for a Hydro Slash. Just leaves us short. Goes for a Seer and Steel. Should be able to tank that. Sharp Edges should take him down then. Yep. Blue Tox is putting the work in. Okay, Ragoon comes in. Um, might as well just Venom Chomp. Goes for a Mega Chomp. Sharp Edges do a bit of damage on the Ragoon. What we'll do then is we'll just bring the clips in. Including this four. So, so far, Setamar's been pretty trash. <laughs> um, maybe I've not used them the best. Maybe I just haven't come against the right teams. Um, because for a Mega Punch, Ability Thief. Oh no, oh no. He's just one plus one. Oh no. Whatever will we do? Oh no! 
Uh, we'll go for a rage and hide here. Um, he goes for a mega punch again. Rage and hide brings him down to his bare bones. Oh, he'll act first because obviously the speed increase goes for a mega punch. And then that lets me bring in Ikazuni. So, with Setamars in, do we think we should keep him ranged still? Um, maybe. Um, no one still expects a robust brawny type, which is good to see. So let's see if we can grab another battle. Let's see if we can actually get using him a wee bit more this time. Okay, we'll go against Philip Ponyo. Okay. Where does Fius go? Um, okay. <sighs> Look at that, guys. Look at that. Gamma. Bergoglyph. <sighs> wow. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to lead... Lead Vesp. Bring Setamars because... We're meant to. Um... Ikazuni, um, we'll bring Hunter, and I guess we'll bring Cinema off here this time, just to kind of mix it up. So let's go up against Philipponio. Okay, he leads Hunter. A fast here. Um, what's going to hit? He's going to hit Blaze Chomp, isn't he? Um, so we'll go straight into our Satomars here. Just for a Blaze Chomp. Now the good thing is, we, we now know Setamars can take, he can take a, a critical hit off the Chili Chomp from Hunter, which is a, a good start to be honest with you. He sends Obsidragon out, and Obsidragon really does wall um, Setamars, although that said, because we are brawny, we still did a good bit of chip there. Um, he can't do too much on me here at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Cinemoth in here. Expecting him to power focus. If you're off quicks, he's gonna miss me. Yep, went for a power focus. Um, so what we do now is we go for a snore spores. If he swaps out, hopefully we get them asleep. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, he goes and swaps into Deludrix. Go for the snore spores, perfect. That's gonna let me go for a magnify here. He stays in. So we can probably usually get the plus four while they're sleeping. Go for another magnify. And then we'll go for an air blade. Uh, Deludrix doesn't really have much bulk. But even if he swaps out now, something's going to take a big, big hit here. Okay, Dilly Drix goes down, and we'll get the crit. Not that it mattered, because we were plus four. Um, so Dilly Drix goes down. He goes into the clips. Um, I just stay in now, Feral Blast here. If he skips goat, he, he's going to get me energy down probably in two goes. That's the only danger, really. Um, if he rage and howls or he gleam roars, he's going to he's gonna do a good bit of damage on me. Um, rage and howl won't be enough. The fact that I'm plus four, this is going to hit like a tank. Like, sent him off in the last couple of days has just been an absolute monster for me. Absolute monster. Um, he brings Zulong in. Um, I'm gonna go straight into my Setamars. Um, I could easily try and swap into Ikazuni and just try and get that plus one on the Thunderstrike. Setamars comes in, goes for an elemental burst. Um, it's gonna do a good chunk to me. He hit me for probably about a hundred there. Um, which is interesting. Um, how much does Vesp take? Uh, 
on an elemental burst. That's pain, dude. Elemental burst. I'm, I'm trying to just win his energy down. Okay. Note to self. Don't swap fast into an elemental burst. <laughs> um, it's fine. What we'll then do is we'll go back into Satomars. Still got use for Vesp. Just wanted to find out what was going on there. Elemental burst again. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll bring Hunter in. He should just thunder strike me here, and then we'll swap in the Kazuni. If he hits elemental burst, wow. Thunder strike. Perfect. We'll take that. Uh, we'll now go for magnify. Boost for an elemental burst. His energy's done. He gets the crit though. Wow. That's a, a bit too close for comfort. Go for the fire breath here. Wow, that was close. Um, if he swaps out, something's coming into a big fire breath. Um, it's got what Obsidra going left still. Okay, fire breath, fire essence, plus two on Obsidragon. That was enough. Um, here's the thing, right? I'm gonna struggle that too long. Unless I can take Obsidragon down here, but if I. He can't elemental burst me twice though, with one elemental burst won't take me down with Hunter, so he will need the Thunder Strike either way. Um so I flash and flee here. Takes up Cedragon down. Um I could use Vasp just to take his energy down. So I'll bring Vasp in. Thunder comes out. Um, oh, the Honda's the issue. Gonna blaze chomp me, isn't it? I don't think I can win this now. Mm. Unless he doubles out. He could just. He might yeah, go for a blaze chomp, won't he? Thunder Chomps probably is the safest bet. Um, a swap, it's going to end up going to a Honda race here. But I don't want Honda to take any chip. I'm just going to stay in and hope he doubles out. Please, Chomp. If I pick Cinemoth in, he's going to Chili Chomp me. Or I can just Honda race him. I'll Honda race him, but what I'll do is we'll try and get Ikazuni in to come in on a Thunder Chomp. Now for Blaze Chomp. No! Yeah, we can't win now. 
That one's to obviously try and get Igazuni in on a uh, Thunder Chomp. Unless we, we crit him here. Um, pretty certain Thunder Chomp does more than Blaze Chomp. Or I could be wrong. Oh, he gets the burn. He gets the burn. And he gets the flinch. Oh, come on. No way. No way. No way. Um, so that puts me in a bit of a bit of an issue here. He can just go for a rest if he wanted to. Goes for a blaze chomp. Um, bring Cinemoff in here. I'll go for a snore spores. Goes for a chili chomp and takes me down. And that's game. Well done, dude. Well done, well played. <laughs> The flinch and the burn. No, oh, no, oh no. Um, but yeah, guys, gonna leave it off there. Um, it's good battles, good enjoyable battles. Um, I'm not so long kind of bron brawny, robust set of Mars at the moment. I really aren't. Um, it's even putting rejuvenate on it. Don't think it's enough because it doesn't. It's not bla blessed with much pace. But well, it's an alternative. It's there for you. I don't know. Even if you put Blaze Chomp on it, it, it still needs something better as well. So, mm, it's an interesting one. So, where would you mainly use this? I don't know. I think it's a bit of a struggle right now. The Raging Tackle is probably the main thing. Could you run a clutch set on it? I guess you could, but... You want it to hit as hard as possible. Maybe we need to stop looking at Setamores as a tank and start buffing it out in the pure melee attack as well. Maybe that's what we need to do to try and make this a bit more usable. But I'm going to leave it off there, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, do hit the like button, please. Um, it does help me out. I've been WarmConnell007. Whoop, whoop. Keep it country. And I will see you next time.